Diet doesn't necessarily mean that you're having to lose weight. Diet just means that you're maintaining how much you intake. Intake means how much you're eating from each of the food groups. So if we look at this plate here, this plate shows us that we should be taking two to three cups of vegetables. Now, Mar, well, it's not perfect, but it's okay. Then we're having one and a half to two cups of fruits. Three, I'm sorry, five to eight ounces, which is less than a cup, ounces of grains. And five to six and a half ounces of protein. Now, on the table you'll see that we have some vegetables. We have what we call cucumbers, potatoes, carrots, onion, bell pepper, corn, and tomatoes. Tomatoes can go both because it has seeds. Remember we talked about that last time. Over here we have our fruits. Our pear, oranges, plum, banana, strawberry, apple, lemon, has a seed, strawberries, and peach. Okay? So, of course, you see these here. These Some of you have already played with those in the classroom. This is my pretzel, which is a grain. Then we have the peach, the strawberry, and the banana, which is our fruits. So, when we look at our plate, there's very small portions on the plate. And that is what your plate should kind of look like. I'm going to place a picture so you'll be able to see what a natural portion is. And so I want you to make sure that you look very closely to that picture. Because in the picture, it consists of your protein, your vegetable, and it also has the potato, which is also a vegetable. So I kind of miss the grains, but your grain, remember, your grains is your rice, your pasta, bread, if you eat bread, uh, with your meal, that would be considered one of your grains. So our grains, remember, it's only five to eight ounces. It's not a cup, it's an ounce. And then, of course, your proteins, our ounces as well. So, when we look at the chart up here, it also talks about sugar, fat, and salts. So when people cook, they do tend to put spices into their food, and that's what gives it the flavor that we like. Uh, I know we steam our broccolis and our green beans, and if you don't add any salt or pepper to it, then you're eating it strictly healthy. It's, it's just being steamed naturally but if you add things to it then you kind of change its value so it tastes better but not necessarily a hundred percent straight healthy but it's still good for you so eat your greens it's very good for you so we're going to uh, I'm I'm going to go ahead and put a form inside your teacher's file your activity it's due on Thursday. We're going to meet on Thursdays. It's due on Thursday, and you're going to create your My Plate. You're going to show me if you have a plastic plate at home, or even if you have a regular plate and you take a picture of it, uh, so you can show me how much portion you've eaten. You're going to have a food log that's also a part of your assignment. So from today to Thursday, or even Friday, you're going to fill that out for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and snack, if you have a snack in between. There's a slot for snacks. So you're going to let me know, you're gonna fill that out, and you're gonna turn that back in. Now again, you can take a picture of it, you can place it back in Teams. Uh, some people, again, have put it on Class Dojo. So you'll have that form that you'll need to fill out, and you can have your parents help you. And then at the there's another form that you're going to fill out which is called your uh, food card. This card is just sharing information on what you like to eat and how much you eat. And at the bottom of that you can actually draw a picture of the foods that you like to eat. Fruits, vegetables, grains, proteins, dairy. 
Now, I didn't have dairy up here, but dairy is important, too, because that's your milk. Your milk is calcium and is very good for your bones. Um, ice cream is milk, boys and girls. Yes, it is. So, you're going to have those two activities that are going to already be placed in your teacher's file. Some of you will already have it assigned to you. So, go ahead and start filling those out, uh, and then you're going to submit those back in. Okay? So, I hope you enjoyed this little small lesson on nutrition as far as our portions. Uh, I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we will be working on our activity works where we'll do movement. And then we'll just recap what we talked about today and what you saw yesterday. Because some of those items, some of you probably had them at home. Some of the fruits and vegetables that we visited from the store. So, with that being said... Make sure you look for your assignment, complete your assignment, have mom and dad help you, brother or sister, make sure you turn it in, and um, I look forward to reading all your answers. All right, talk to you later, boys and girls. Bye.